Hey everybody, William Wallace, William Wallace for America here today. I'm with State Treasurer John Schroeder, and, I, and you've heard him on the radio before, but I'm bringing him on today for a special moment to be able to talk about the Main Street program. John, thank you so much for coming on today. Oh, you're welcome. I really appreciate it. And uh, I want to encourage everybody to go to the site for it, but I want John to tell us about it and tell us how we can get involved with it. John? So we're coming down to the last 24 hours. It, it, it launches tomorrow. It's the uh, Main Street Recovery Grant Program uh, that where the legislature and the governor provided $275 million for small business. That's 50 employees or less brick and mortar where where you have to to be eligible your customer or employee has to come to your location um, this is a um, reimbursement program for your expenses it's not lost revenue doesn't replace it your, your revenue that you lost but it mm -hmm. does replace the um, expenses that you incurred especially those that were shut down pays for their rents uh, pays for the utilities your insurances things like that any equipment or special um, technology you needed to perform the duties uh, during the pandemic. So it kicks off tomorrow uh, at 9 a.m. tomorrow. You can go online at Main, LouisianaMainStreet.com and you can um, uh, see the application. There's actually a pretest that you're going to take that will qualify you. If you pass that test, more than likely you'll qualify for uh, the, a grant as long as you have uh, uh, invoices that you can prove your expenses. You have to be able to prove that you had an expense. They're just not, you just can't tell them, hey, I, I have $12,000 worth of expenses. You're going to have to show them uh, to be in rainbow. Now, what I like about this, a lot of people, you know, they talk about the free money. They talk about, you know, things being too easy. And what I like about this that your office is doing, your office has some oversight yes. on this. So it's not, it's, it's not just something that you can go get. It's something you have to qualify for, which makes it a, you know, a very a verifiable but a very important program for businesses that they're not just, you know, they have to prove. No, so, you have to be a, a registered uh, in good standing. Yeah. You had to have filed your taxes in 2018, 2019, or filing them in 2020. So there are all some things you have to have in place. Uh, as I said earlier, you will have to show your invoices. You can't just claim it and, and not show the invoice where you have, have the actual expense. So, um, you know, we're excited about getting this rolling. Unfortunately, it's not a lot of money. Right. And uh, we, we, we know there's a great, way far greater need than what we have to pay out. But as I tell people, some is better than none. Right. It, uh, it's a, it's a band-aid, but some aid is better than no aid. Well, the good thing is that there's so many other businesses and so many other programs that help businesses in different ways. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot of money. It's just another key component that gets another part of the economy going. It's another part of businesses yeah. that, that haven't had access to other money. Look, it's, 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 it's really about helping them hang on. Right. Just hang on. You know, if $15,000 can get them through the next three or four months, uh, then that's great. And that's, that's, the, that's the goal. Since we don't know whether we're moving into a phase two, three, four or up, or we're going backwards, or there's going to be another, another recurrence of this, uh, of the COVID-19, would you say that anybody who's, you know, maybe in doubt, they should at least go to the site and check it out and maybe see if they're, they're, they're uh, yeah, they, they qualify? Abso absolutely. The stupidest question is the one you never ask, right? right? And you'll so, have those answers on the site. Yeah, we do. You go to the application. If you pass the quiz, it's, it's about seven questions. If you pass that quiz, more than likely you'll, you'll, um, you'll be eligible for a grant. You can go to the website, if you, and, and if you have any questions, you can call our the phone number. Our right. phone number is 1-888-795-4947. Uh, that's our call center that is manned 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. And it'll, it'll ramp up more uh, when the program la launches tomorrow as long as the, we, we have a need for it. But yeah, um, if, if there's any doubt at all, apply. The worst thing they can tell you is you're not, you're not qualified. Now, one thing I want to add to that is you talked about the unclaimed property. You've talked about that a lot for individuals. Yeah. But I've heard that it's also available for businesses too. Yeah, so as, as the treasurer, um, I, I oversee the unclaimed property program, um, and it's really a phenomenal program. It's my favorite part of the treasury. Um, you know, we've returned over 
68 million dollars this year, over 200,000 claims. Uh, you know, technology has really helped us improve it. Where we used to only do 25 million dollars and about 30,000 claims. So for two years in a row now, we've done, done over 200,000 claims. But the pandemic sort of forced us to look at some different things that we were doing. And one of those things we happened upon were, um, how do we go find businesses that have that money? Because the way the program works, they're just processing claims every mm -hmm. day that people are c coming to our website or our, we, we actually have some companies who, who find people. And uh, so they're just managing that. So what everything else sort of gets piled up. Right. Well, it's a $900 million pile. There's $900 million owed wow. to citizens across this state. So during the pandemic, uh, some of my administrators who worked in, on, in the executive team, I put them doing um, businesses. And, and I think we found almost $10 million for businesses. So people check their names, but they don't ever check their business. Yeah. So I'm encouraging people to, to check, uh, go to latreasury.com, click on unclaimed property, and uh, just follow the, it's very easy to do. You just punch in your name, punch in your business name, and it'll tell you whether you have, have something or not, and it'll tell you the process you have to go through to claim it. John, I'm really happy to have an elected official like you in our state that's working hard not only for people, but now for businesses. You know, and I like how you're always putting these things out there, like with the unclaimed property, but now it's, you can you, people with businesses can also get it. And I'm glad that you're always out there. I, I hear that you're traveling the state in the next week to be able to push this and help other businesses. And I'm glad to have someone like you in our, in our state treasury doing that for the people. Is there any other thing you want to say? Well, I'm, I'm excited about our, um, as we talked on the radio, right. um, we, we had an unclaimed property legislation passed this past session. So okay. in November, uh, we'll be on a ballot that will take uh, the unclaimed property money and put in a trust fund and stop government from spending it, which right. they have been doing for many years. Uh, and so I, it will be good for the state, it's good for the citizens because the, the trust fund will kick off some interest right. to uh, the state government, but it'll also we will, we will keep the, um, the principal and, uh, and be able to run the program and, and ensure that we will always have the money there to, to be claimed. That's actually a good plan. So secure the money in November. You can vote to secure the money and be able to have the revenue from that secured money help us keep low taxes in Louisiana and help other people. And in the meantime, visit tre the treasurer's site. Visit my site, William Wallace for America. Uh, we have a podcast. We have a uh, Facebook page, a YouTube channel. Spread the word because it's people like this that's doing a good job for the state that we need to promote and we need to talk about more. John, thank you so much. I appreciate thank you. it. Anytime. All right. Have a good day, guys.